Hey guys, um, welcome to the third part of this uh, Substance Designer 5 tutorial, which is about creating a squash node uh, inside Substance Designer. So, in the two first parts, we actually made the most of the job. Actually, we created a nice uh, squash node that actually works this way. Basically, you put some inputs inside for the x value and the y value. Actually, this one. Um, and then you can, in the parameter, define the strength of the effect to get the, the results you want. So you can get something like that, or like that, or like that. It can depend. You can change the input to get a completely different result. It's up to you. Uh, one thing we are going to add now, it should be quite fast, is actually to add the ability uh, to not um, uh, tile, uh, because this is something that you cannot control directly in the base parameter of the pixel processor. It, it's here, but it doesn't have any effect. So let's do it. So before to go inside the pixel processor node, I will just add uh, another parameter, which is the boolean which will be um, tile uh, tile so if it's a default will be uh, true so basically by default it will tile and uh, if we click false it will it won't tile you get the point so let's go back here we did it. And we are going to make a bit of space here. And first, I'm going to get the value. Uh, so it's get boolean. We catch tile here. And we are going to create an if condition. So if tile then we are going to do all the results here actually you know what we are going to do, we are going to do at the end so which is if tile then give me this result that's what we have right now and now we are going to focus on if it doesn't tile what we are going to do is that so we need some if and we need some or uh, or like that. We don't need them attached. So if or greater and lower. That's the three we need. So the first one we'll do on the x axis. And actually I need two floats two floats. So I need one zero and one which is equal to one. And actually we we'll know that if it's lower than zero or greater to one. <coughs> um, and I will need that two time and these two times as well. And I think I need four times uh, because we do four each axis. So there will be three times the conditions. So I take this and the one, two, three. And there is another one, yes. Okay, so let's take the x value, I have to take it, uh, don't get me wrong, I have to find where to take it, I, I think it's here, huh? yeah, so if the x value is higher 
to 1 or lower to 0 and if the y value is higher to 1 or uh, lower to 0 or higher to 1 and now I need to put some or so I say if so here we put my conditions here Not here. Okay, so right now I will put some R. Actually, I think I don't need the, all this one, but what I'm going to do is if one of them is true, so the R value can save a bit of space on, on your graph. Voila, look, if one of them is true, actually you have it here. I'm going to put it here. So if we, and we're going to plug that here. So what we we'll do is we say okay, if one of them is true, then uniform core. Uh, we are going to use a zero. Actually, I will for clarity, I will create a new one. So if one of them is true, then I would put black. Actually, it's a sample color, so I'm going to I'm going to put a float for float for like that. So if one of them is true, I would put black. Else, I would put the color. And let's see right now. Let's see how it goes. Hmm, it works partially, I guess. Let me check the. Well, I think it works. Let's do something simpler. Let's see. If I change the intensity to. Okay. If I put the intensity to 1. So. Basically, it seems to work. Yeah, actually the same one which is output, but if I put to one, seems to be good. Let's do with something like a square maybe. Let's take check this. Yeah, you see right now if I put for it, tile on yeah, so it works basically. True false. So you see that right now uh, you can define control if you want to tile or not. I'm just going to go back and do a fast explanation because I I didn't speak a lot. So basically, what I did uh, here is we check the x um, where we catch the value on both axes x and y and if we catch above um, 1 or below 0 on each axis we just output black so that's what we check here we check on x if it's above 1 or below 0 same thing on y and we put we say if this one is true or this one is true or this one is true or this one is true then you output black which is this value uh, else, you output uh, the what we have output at the beginning, and then we add another if, which is if the the button tile is set to true. Uh, so you want it to tile 
just take this number or if not just take all the the rules we defined here and that's it so right now we have exactly the same result but right now you have control on the tile on the tiling process so once again i invite you to to play with uh, this to and to post results uh, either on the um, algorithmic forum and uh, you you have also the uh, an algorithmic uh, google plus co community which is quite active so don't hesitate to share your your work there thanks again and have a great day